In today's lesson on grade 12 trigonometry, we're going to have a look at solving triangles in three dimensions again, but this time with variables. Example 1. In the following sketch, PS is a vertical line and triangle SQR is in a horizontal plane. Therefore, I will immediately stop and indicate to myself that PSQ is a 90 degree angle. Then we are also given that angle QPS is theta, angle SQR is alpha, the length of PS is H, and that SQ is the same length as SR, and therefore I will immediately add that angle R is also alpha because of angles opposite equal sides. In question A, we are asked to show that QR is the same as 2 times H times tan theta cos alpha. Now, this actually implies that we need to calculate QR and it simply gives us the answer we need to end up with. So side QR is in the bottom triangle SQR, but in this triangle we have no side lengths yet and that means we will have to start in triangle PQS where we have side length H and then calculate the common side QS so that we can move to our bottom triangle. Now in triangle PQS we have angle theta and from there we need the opposite side and we have the adjacent side so that means we will work with tan of theta which is our opposite side QS over adjacent which we know the length of is H. So to solve QS all we need to do is multiply with H on the left. Next we can move on to triangle SQR. We need side QR, we just calculated QS and we already know the angle across from it so we have a complete pair so that we can use the sin rule. If we want to calculate QR then it means we need angle QSR. Now angle QSR will be 180 degrees minus alpha minus alpha which we can also write as 180 degrees minus 2 alpha. And then if we want to calculate QR with the sin rule, it will be QR over sin of the angle across from it, which we just calculated. And that will be equal to the one we know, QS, over sin of the angle across from it, which is alpha. So to solve QR, we are going to multiply with sin of 180 minus 2 alpha on the right. In my next step, I'm going to substitute QS with the value that we calculated for QS, H times tan theta. And I'm going to realize that 180 minus 2 alpha is a reduction formula for the second quadrant. So here I'm going to have H times tan theta and because it's the second quadrant where sin is positive, I can simply write sin of 2 alpha. And lastly, I need to realize that sin 2 alpha is a double angle that I have an identity for. And I can substitute it with the identity 2 sin of alpha times cos of alpha. When I now simplify sin alpha divided by sin alpha, I'm left with what I had to prove. After we've now proven A, we can now go to question B, which is if theta is 45 degrees, alpha 30, and h square root 3, determine the length of qr. Now, we've already shown in question A that qr is the same as 2h times tan theta cos alpha. So all that's left for us to do is to substitute and use a calculator. So h will become square root 3, Tan of theta will become tan 45 and cos of alpha will become cos of 30 degrees. And if you use your calculator, you will end with 3 units. Example 2. The following sketch shows a vertical flagpole AC with a height of H. B, C and D are points on ground level. And they've already indicated for us then our two 90 degree angles because we have a vertical plane and a horizontal plane. 
So here the sketch is flipped around to what we saw in our previous example and the previous video. They also give us that AB is 2x, BD is 3x, and they give us angle ABD as alpha, and they tell us that the angle of elevation of the top of the flagpole from point D is beta, so angle ADC is beta. They ask us to calculate side H. Now, side H is in triangle ABC, where we have no angle sizes, and it is in triangle ACD, where we have angle beta. So we would like to work in triangle ACD, but there we have no sides yet. This means that we will have to start in a triangle where we have side length, that also has a common side to this purple triangle, and that will be triangle A B, D, where AD is then our common side that we are going to start off calculating. In triangle ABD, we have two sides and the included angle, so we are going to work with the cos rule. And now we can substitute in what we know, and then we can simplify. So we're going to square the first two terms and multiply out the third term. And now a bit of algebra where we add up like terms. And in these two terms, I now have a common factor of x squared that I can take out. And finally, to calculate AD, I can take the square root on the right. So here you can see that when the question has variables in it, we also test your algebra. And now that we do have AD, we can move to our purple triangle. This triangle has a 90 degree angle, which means we can use normal trig ratios. So we're going to focus on angle beta, and from there we need our opposite, and we have our hypotenuse. And that means we'll be working with sin. Now sin beta is opposite, which is h, over hypotenuse, which is ad, and to solve h we then multiply with ad on the left. All that's left for me to do is to substitute AD with what we calculated for AD. And lastly, we are just going to rearrange the order, which we're allowed to do because it's all multiplied. And then we have proven what they've asked us to prove. 